For the average person, it's easy to understand the kind of problems that software companies try to solve. That's because many of these companies develop products that their users can interact with through an app. But for a specific type of software company called an API company, it's a little different. That's because API companies develop products that most of us are unlikely to ever interact with. Well, at least not directly. This product is called an API, or an Application Programming Interface. In recent years, API companies have grown not only in number, but also in importance. And nowhere is this growth more evident than in Nigeria's emerging fintech scene. In 2020, when Nigerian fintech startup Okra announced that it had raised $1 million in pre-seed funding. The announcement was remarkable in more ways than one. First, Okra was a young company, only about four months old at the time. Second, it was co-founded by a black woman, Farah Ashiru Jitubo, and black women have historically found funding very hard to come by. And third, Okra was an API company, which is still a relative novelty. According to Jitubo, the idea for the company was born when she returned to Nigeria after giving birth in the United States. Pardon the pun, and couldn't find a company that provided her with a similar set of personal financial management services to Mint, a service provider she had grown accustomed to. Mint is a software company that allows its users to manage their finances by linking all their bank accounts in one place. They can do so because many US banks have given fintech startups third-party access to their customer data. This access is facilitated by open banking and open APIs. But what is open banking? What are open APIs? And what are APIs to begin with? To understand things better, picture this. If you go to most open markets in Nigeria and you want to buy a pair of jeans, chances are that you'll find a roaming agent who's unattached to any shop or has arrangements with several. You can tell that agent the color, style, and size of the jeans you want. You'll then go into those shops and get different jeans for you to check out. When the transaction is done, you'd have gotten your jeans without the inconvenience of going through every shop. The shop owner would have received value for their jeans with minimal efforts, while the agents also get their cuts. In this example, the buyer is the app for a traditional software company. The shops are the banks. The customer information they hold is the jeans, while the agent is the API company. Most users will only ever interact with the buyer just like Jitubo did with Mint, while the API company, like the one she co-founded, works in the background to retrieve financial information. This information is then fed to the apps, who then feed it to the end user. By granting third-party access to their customers' information, the banks are using open APIs. But it's not just banks that can open their APIs. Any company can. In Nigeria, numerous financial service providers have embraced open APIs. And this is important because while open banking is facilitated by open APIs, it's not every company that uses open APIs that is engaged in open banking. Another API startup that's creating value is Moon. A few months after Okra's announcement, they too announced that they'd raised $500,000 in pre-seed funding. And this was in under two months of operation. Mono is on a mission to build the plague of Africa. Shortly thereafter, another company called OpenPipe raised $950,000 in pre-seed funding. Their mission is to build the aggregator of every financial services API in Nigeria, a super API if you will. This new ability for end users to view consolidated information about all their financial products across all providers in a single location will yield productivity benefits for them, just as it did for Jitubo, whilst creating new opportunities for a new class of service providers like me. The Central Bank of Nigeria recognizes this, and in 2021, the Apex Bank released the regulatory framework to standardize open banking in the country. This combination of innovative startups, forward-thinking financial service providers, and progressive regulation is sure to fuel the explosion of Nigeria's fintech API economy in the coming months and years.